What's up, guys? It's Alex here, and we are now doing our third game of the 2020 NCAA tournament on NCAA Basketball 10. The first game we had Baylor versus a 16 seed Winthrop, and as you can see, Baylor ended up moving on out of this region. But check out that video if you haven't already. In the second game, we had three seeds Seton Hall face off against 14 Eastern Washington. Make sure you check out that one. That is definitely a game to watch. But up next, we have number four Louisville versus the or Louisville, however you want to pronounce it. Versus the 13 seed Vermont uh, Catamounts. I think in my actual bracket video, I predicted Louisville to win just because we're using the 2009-2010 rosters. And we're using just random generated names. So that's why you probably won't recognize any of the players. So let's go ahead and get into this Louisville versus Vermont matchup. Really excited to see what happens with it. And I will catch you guys at the beginning of this next game. Shots up. He can't get it to go. Snatches it down. The Cardinals are now getting set up. Four around one. No help out. Just kill me. Both teams looking to get in. Okay. And one to start off the game. There is Rick Pitino from 2009 to 2010. Now the coach I own in real life. He misses the free throw. Can't convert the end one. Ooh, Vermont with the big block. Ooh, in and out, though. Lobel's still hanging on with this 2 nothing lead. He had a guy out there on the corner. I don't know why he didn't pass it out to him. He's wide open for a three. Vermont still has not scored in this ball game. And as soon as I say that, they go ahead and score. <laughs> Ooh, the alley-oop. Okay, Louisville. I think that's the first alley-oop of the tournament so far. Oh, they're trapping him in backcourt. Better move the ball up the floor. All right, there we go. Deep three misses. Two minutes left on the game clock. We're at the midway point of 
midway point in the first half. And coach, this one is shaping up to be a good one for these two teams that shown us this What a bounce pass. What vision by that Louisville point guard. Woo. And they're trapping him in the backcourt again. This full court press is working for Louisville. And they get a defensive stop. Man, Louisville is just coming out to play today. Will we see our first half court, or our first buzzer beater? We will not. Louisville wins the first half, eight to four. Let's see if Vermont can respond and come back here in the second half, or if Louisville will extend their lead. Deep three by Louisville. I think that was Francisco Garcia if it was real life. Okay. Okay, Vermont. Number 12 or 21. I can't remember what his number was. He was getting hyped after that turnaround, Jay. Two-point game now. And they get a defensive stop. Moving it out in transition. Good transition defense by Vermont. Oh, I thought number 12 stole the ball there for Vermont. Let's see what Louisville can do here on offense. Netted it. Jesus. <laughs> got destroyed on that block, but they got the offensive rebound and put it back in. 
Only a two point game with about two and a half minutes to go. Vermont now has the chance to tie. Poster by number 15 for Louisville over number 23 for Vermont. Man, that may be the play that Louisville needed to just break this game open. Wow. <laughs> 12 to 8. Vermont needs a bucket here to at least stay in the game. Offensive rebound for Vermont, though. They are sticking in it. going to tie it up there. On the left side. Crowd is going crazy right now. Foul on the play. And a foul on Vermont. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means more playing time. And he misses the first free throw. Vermont has a chance to keep this a one possession game. And he misses the second. Oh, the oh, okay. The outlet pass. Oh, but he misses his layup, and he gets blocked. What a missed opportunity for Vermont. I thought they were gonna tie it up there. A beautiful outlet pass. Wow, just a missed opportunity there. That is. And now they're going back to the line, and now it's an and one. But. What could have been a tie ball game about 10 seconds ago is now a, about to be a five-point lead. Wow, Vermont fans everywhere are crying at this point. <laughs> oh, but he misses the free throw, though. 14 to 10, they take a timeout. They need to draw something good up here. Let's see what Vermont can do out of this timeout. They need a basket here to stay in this game. Louisville has not been too good at the free throw line this game. That may be Vermont's chance to stay in it from deep. Oh, he misses. I'll go ahead and get all these fouls out of the way and pick it up, and we're going to go back to the line for the end ones. So here we go. This is going to be the foul that sends Louisville to the line. Louisville has been missing the free throws, as you guys have seen. Will Vermont have a chance to stay in this game, or will Louisville extend that lead and walk out of here with the W? Makes the first one. And he makes the second as well, 16 to 10. Vermont takes a timeout. Let's see what Vermont can do. Will they have good in-game management at the end of the game? Or will they be like Seton Hall and have no idea what to do and waste so much time at the end? It looks like it's gonna be the latter. They need a shot here. You need to shoot at Vermont. What are you doing? Too little, too late. They're just fouling with 0.8 seconds to go to extend the game. Louisville is going to move on here. They're subbing out their players, putting the end of the bench players in. Louisville is going to be moving on to the second round. It's just a matter of covering the spread or something like that at this point if you're a better. Gets the first one. So Vermont goes from a chance to tie the game with the outlet pass to losing by eight. They didn't score from that end. So congratulations to the Louisville Cardinals. They are moving on.
Heartbreak for Vermont. So there we have it. Jason Clara is the player of the game for Louisville. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you use that green or red marker, depending on if you had the upset or not, or if you had chalk moving on with Louisville. So we have Louisville moving on to the second round. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next tournament game. Congratulations to the Louisville Cardinals.